Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. It's time for another Tag Tuesday. <gasps> I was tagged by Tracy from Trials of a Long-Haired Girl. Tracy does these tags every week for us. She comes up with these questions and she tags who knows who. And this week I was tagged. So thank you, Tracy, for tagging me. I will leave Tracy's tag channel in the description box. You can check out her answers. I will be tagging a few people at the end of this video. You're just going to have to wait and see who I tag. All right, this is called, and I I had them up. There it is. <laughs> Random questions. Okie dokie, artichokey. What do you do on your commute to and from work? You guys know what I do on my commute to work. I vlog. Yes, I talk to you guys. I find some topic of WW inspiration, and I just chat about it, and it gets me right to work. I only I'm only about twelve minutes. When I come to and from, from I just get my bud booty homed for lunch. So I ain't messing up nothing. So that's that. What is your next vacation destination? Don't have anything planned right now. My son graduates college this um, May, hopefully. So that will be our probably our big trip out to watch that, um, which is not that far, really. Um, I'm not a vacation lover. I just... Um, well, no, I just don't desire to, I guess I don't like to relax. I don't like to lay on beaches. I don't. I like to shop. So if the, if the vacation requires shopping, I don't like, to, I'm not a lounger. I don't like to, I guess because I do that all the time. Could be. All right, next one. What is the latest TV show you're binge watching? Or you binge watch? Well, right now I am, you're going to laugh because it's this time of year. I like to be scared if you don't know me that well. So I'm binge watching on Netflix, Z Nation, which I've never seen. It was back out in 2014, 2015. So there's about four seasons, I think, of Z Nation. So that is what my guilty pleasure is. And then there's another haunting on Netflix that just came out. So that's on the next reel. So it's, it's Halloween, peeps. Yeah, I like to be scared. What song gets you out on the dance floor? Anything from the 80s. Everybody dance now. Well, CC Music, CC Music Factory always gets me on the dance floor. Anything usually? Um, I'm not a huge Motown person. I don't know. I don't like anything other like earlier than this than than the '80s. Michael Jackson gets me on the dance floor, but you know any of the '80s dance music always gets me on the dance floor. Number five, when you were a kid, did you eat the crust on your sandwiches or not? No. Or my pizza. That's for that. I eat it now, but didn't like it then. Do you sleep with a top sheet? Yes. I usually um, used to sleep with my foot out. It's a habit I got into. Um, but I always have to have something on top of me. It's usually the sheet. If it's colder, then I'll put a blanket on. I just... I don't know. I like to feel covered. Not like anybody's there going to see anything. I mean, I got a nightie on. It's like I'm naked. <laughs> naked as a jaybird. No, I am. He is not naked. All right. What is your favorite thing about your current job? Um, it's easy. Um, the hours are great. I work four hours a day, nine to one. So I can have breakfast at home and lunch at home. So, yes, I love the hours. Um, I work with children. I am a first grade teacher's aide and I work in the lunch and the recess time and stuff. It's easy. You know, it's a job that doesn't really require me to think. So I kind of like that. I like where it's not a high pressure job. I mean, you're, you're in charge of kids. That's pressure. But it's like there's no mental pressure. And I think I had enough of that in my other job that I needed in order to be able to fulfill my obligations at home, not to feel stressed out. So, yeah. All righty. Number eight. How would your 10-year-old self react to what you do now? She'd laugh her ass off. She'd be like, you don't like kids? At 10 years old, and probably most of those years, 10 to 15, 16, I didn't ever want to have kids. People say, you could have kids? No. I didn't babysit. I did not like children. You know, I was the youngest in the family, so there really wasn't anybody younger than me. And I was younger than all of the families, both parents, my parents' side. So there was really nobody younger than me. So I was like spoiled. 
No, I didn't like kids then, and I swore I wasn't going to have any. But I'd be like, she'd be like, she'd be like, what are you doing? You don't even like kids. Kids are like annoying and they're they're gross. So yeah, she'd laugh. What is what was your first job? My first job was at McDougal's. I worked at McDonald's. I was a I started off in they called it the window, which is cashier. Then I worked my way back to the grill because I liked to be in the grill. And then when he offered me uh, an opportunity to go to Hamburger University. Time to leave and find myself a real career. That's when I went back to school. Well, I actually really never stuck. Well, I was off for maybe six months after high school. I didn't want to go to college. So I kept, you know, I was working for, you know, time and just trying to find find myself. And then when, when I was offered to go to Hamburg, that's what it's called, Hamburger University, I went, you know, because I knew I couldn't do that job. I didn't want to. So that's when I went and checked out a couple of trade schools went in and got a, um, went back and became a registered medical assistant and I never looked back. All right. What do you remember most about your first job? It was fun. You know, it was fun. And you, it, truth is, truth is when you work with that food, you don't really want to eat it a lot. I mean, you're flipping burgers and fries and you know, yeah, you didn't. One thing I really liked was the ice cream. Because we didn't always get, yeah, they had it was ice milk back then. And that was like the best part. If you worked the full shift and you got a half an hour, you got a dessert. So I always got me a hot fudge sundae. Hence why I'm on Weight Watchers. So yeah, so that was probably um, that. And yeah, being that that was, that you know, your 16, 17 years, you know, you remember all the, you know, the drama of being that age. But that's what I think of most. But yeah, the food. It's all about the food. All right, that's it for me. Who am I tagging? Ah, I will tag the notorious Susie Bowie. And I'm going to tag Sue from Sue Slims Down. It's going to be a Sue tag. So Susie Bowie, Sue from Sue Slims Down, and somebody new. Too Fat, Too Furious. You've been tagged. She's a new channel. I don't know. I think she does it with her husband. I'm not really quite sure. But I highly recommend you check that out. So I will leave their links in the description box below along with these questions. If you want to answer them, I'd love to hear your answers. So that's another Tag Tuesday in the books for Dee. And if you enjoy these, give them a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day and we will dish another day.